Welcome back to Roy's Rolls. The keen-eyed Coronation Street fans will recognise it, of course, as indeed they will recognise this one. The Coronation exclusive I've been promising you all morning has finally arrived in the form of the very fragrant Alison King, of course, Carla, Hello. of all of a decade on the cobbles, and you're back for a very special reason. As of the 27th of August at the SECC in Glasgow, all of these iconic sets like Roy's Rolls, the Rover's Return and the Duckworth's Living Room will be going on the road, Coronation Street on tour for the very first time, and you're the woman with the firm hand on the tiller, aren't you, Ali? I am. I'm going to be welcoming people to Weatherfield, and I'm, I'm not actually going to be there in person, but I am there, so you have to you get your tickets and, and see what that actually means, yeah. but um, it's great. Um, here we are in Roy's Royals, I miss it. I know I you it. do, I know you do. In fact, you've been a bit teary-eyed ever since you arrived uh, yeah. this morning. Lots of fond memories filming on these actual sets, of course, over the years. Yes. Well, as a virtual tour guide, people can catch you at the SECC, but I've got you here in the flesh, Yes, Ali. you have, So yeah. take me on a real tour. It's just so surreal. I, I, I filmed so many scenes in here. I, I'm really missing Roy's cinnamons buns. And look over fresh. there is his old cardigan. He, he's updated himself since then. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there's been so much going on. It's just lovely for, for people to be able to um, like walk through the sets and, and basically, you know, like we've packed everything up in a suitcase, all the old memorabilia yeah. and costume and props and it's just like, like you've never seen it before really. Well, I, I mean, I know we're lucky because obviously you've trodden the cobbles and I've trodden the cobbles obviously in another capacity. but. Nobody has really got to do this the duck before. Worse. The Duckworths. Is this exactly yeah. how you'd have your house, Ali? Yes, it is. I'm remodelling it on this right now. And they've seen better days, although I think Carla might still have a go. Well, yes, yeah, she was fond of the odd tipple, even at this early hour of the morning. That's actually apple juice and sugar. And as you can see, it's completely gone off and is rotten at the bottom. But <laughs> let's not get health and safety involved as we take this trip uh, down memory lane. OK, follow me. Who would live, I wonder, Ali, in a house like this. Oh. Number eight, Coronation Street. It is, of course, the Platts. I know the furniture's bubble wrapped, and you'd think after everything that's happened to them that they would just bolt from the street, but no, yeah. they're permanently fixed in uh, Weatherfield. Any memories of filming in here? It gives me the shivers, actually. I think last time I was in here, Gail threw a wet tea cloth at my head, and, um, yeah, <laughs> it, it's uh, fun memories. I love filming in the Platts, actually. It was amazing. You got off lightly. This is the rubber tool that saw off uh, Callum. It's like Coronation Street Cluedo here uh, this morning. So a start of a 10 for you, Ali. Um, this piece of scaffolding. That makes me. I was cleared of that. I was cleared of that. It's Tina McIntyre's. That's okay. right. This is a bit of scaffolding that fell on Tina McIntyre. You see, you can actually style this out at home, although I wouldn't try it with the real thing. Uh, case in point, a cricket bat. This is actually made out of rubber as well. Now, do you remember this? Ooh, we've stumped S Ali King. Stumped me. This was wielded by your best mate, Roy <gasps> Cropper, when Gary Windass tried that's to break right. into Roy's role. So that's number eight at uh, the Platts. We've got a sign here from Audrey's Hair and Beauty Salon, Barlow's, of course, and this was the live episode that mm. you were involved in in 2010. It was the tram crash. We were both on set that and night. And we both survived. Yes. Luckily, yeah. Well, I was behind the scenes, so I was always going to survive. <laughs> it just, it, yeah, it gives me palpitations to even think about it. I can't think about it. it was, I was that nervous. Brilliant. And just in case you were any doubt of where we are, Coronation Street on tour, as I say, as of the 27th of August. Inside, we have the Rovers return. Come in very quickly, Ali, and take a butchers at this. Can you remember your very first scene in here? Uh, my very first time in here was when I auditioned and I kept throwing drinks over myself because I was that nervous. Um, but yeah, it's a real iconic little little set and everybody gets nervous coming in here. It's Make people sweat a lot. Yeah, too early for a drop of touch though because I know Carla's a fond um, oh, of the wine. old uh, red wine. That was your tipple, wasn't that it? Was red wine. Tipple. And finally, cast your eyes on this because the last time Ooh. we met on the cobbles in the spring, you were supposed to get spliced to Nick. You've had three or four weddings on the cobbles. Which one was that from? Uh, that's a Peter Barlow. Peter Barlow. Peter Barlow. If you fancy laying your hands, not on Alison King, but at least in a virtual <laughs> capacity, but on clubber like this, then go to itv.com forward slash GMB and find out how you can get involved in Coronation Street on tour. I can't promise you a drink, but I can promise you the full-on experience. You've seen many deaths over the years in Collie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> rid of most of my husband. I, <laughs> I can't remember most of them, but I do know that this <laughs> was the most amazing. I was there. So, uh, Spoiler. Uh, well, you know, maybe I just didn't want them to go to Barbados. 